Hi, I'm Sally Schuster, the Public Relations Coordinator at the Addison Public Library, and I'm here with Karen Dini, the Assistant Head of Adult Services, and we're going to be talking about how to download ebooks using our new system, which is from 3M. Now, Karen, I know we had Overdrive up until mm -hmm. uh, just a few weeks ago, and we have now switched to 3M. Can you tell me why we did that? Well, with Overdrive, we used to uh, be part of a consortium, and there were more than uh, about 15 libraries in that consortium, so our patrons were competing with patrons from other libraries um, to get the books, because with an electronic book, even though it is electronic, it was a one user per checkout. So there was a lot more people in the pool, whereas now we own all the books in this collection, and it's only for Addison patrons. It is a smaller collection to start out with. Um, the books are expensive, so there is over 600 titles right now, which includes children, adults, and teens. But again, it's only Addison patrons that can check it out. So mm -hmm. there's a lot smaller pool that you have to contend with. Right. Uh, can you show us how uh, what we're stand? Tell us what we're standing in front of and explain how this works. This is um, the, the 3M Discovery Station for the Cloud Library, which is uh, the 3M, which is the product we own. And um, this is the browsing station, so you can't really download to your, to your device from here. What you do is um, you can come up and look at the different titles in the collection. You don't even have to log in to use this right away. You can just see the different bookshelves, or if you do a list view, you can see all the different books and uh, subcategories. So let's say you wanted to see this one you could see that uh, what the book is about and the stars are what our patrons when they've read it if they'd like to rate it you they they rate how many stars if they like the book didn't like it you can also from here hit the login button and you put your library card number in and you hit login then you put your library pin if you don't know your library pin you can always call the library and we'll be glad to help you either um, set it up or retrieve your PIN, uh, set a new one. Okay. okay, once you log in, your library card number is up here and from here you can then see what books are checked out or checked in. If it says um, Oh, I'm sorry. This is my what I have checked out right okay. now. Okay, not not what everybody has. No, this is what I have checked out. You so have a lot checked out, Karen. I was doing a lot of practicing. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go to search. Okay. Search your category. Search. You can search by author or title. Categories lets you see the different books. Um, and you also have the shelves, right? You have the shelves which are up here. The shelves are what the library actually sets up, so we'll be doing a lot more like new fiction or a new fantasy. Categories, we'll see the different categories. Um, if you see this one, The Abergirl's Guide to Life, if you want to check it out, mm -hmm. you simply click check out. You can read what it's about, you click check out again. It is now checked out to you Mm -hmm. And from here, you go and download the things to your computer and you transfer to your device. So from okay. here, you can just search. If you use this at the library, you always want to hit log out because your number is displayed up there. Mm -hmm. You hit log out and you're back to the original screen. Now, what kind of devices can you download the ebooks to? You can download it to um, Nooks or any Android type e reader. You could Kobe, uh, the different ones like that. You could also do it by an app with your um, iPads or your Samsung Galaxies, uh, anything like that. If you can read it on your iPhone, you can also download it to your iPhone or um, the iPod Touch. Unfortunately, you cannot do it to the Kindle readers at this time. Uh, 3M is in negotiation with Amazon and will be getting a decision shortly. If you have a Kindle Fire, you can work around and we have a, a workaround to get it on there. For something like that, you definitely want to call us and we can set up an appointment because it's a little trickier. We have all these instructions on our website as well though, so if you can also do that. 